Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about Travis Etienne and what he brings to the table in a Travis Etienne film session. Before we get started though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So I think the thing that people are aware about Travis Etienne is his speed. That is the number one thing with Travis Etienne. This guy has elite speed. Every time he touches the football, every time he gets into the second level, he's got the ability to take something to the house. And you're going to see that right here on this play. This play kind of looks stuffed up. It's a run down the middle and there's kind of, Miami does a really good job here. Kind of just, you know, setting, setting the edge kind of, and, and, and making sure that there's nothing that's going to be able to get to the middle. However, Etienne has the speed to bounce the ball to the outside and get to the outside. And you're going to see him here kind of just use that block here, really nice block there, and then suddenly just explode to the outside. Once he's at full speed, you're not stopping him. Makes a guy miss, may or may not step out of bounds there, but simply just outruns the entire defense. And that's kind of what ET, that's ETN's game, takes us in for a touchdown. But most importantly, it's it's the cut, it's the cutting ability, and then the speed to get to the outside. And once you've gone to the outside, once Travis ETN's out to the outside, and you don't have the right angle in him, it's done. He's going to take it to the house because he's got that elite speed right down the line. And, I mean, he's got that electric elite speed that really, really makes him a guy who can touch the football and take it to the house at any moment that he touches the football. And I think this kind of this play kind of just shows you how fast he is, just, just how fast he is, really just how fast this guy gets. Um, so, right, basically, he's going to be in the backfield here. It's going to be a fourth and one play, so you got to pick up the first down here. But this play is kind of just take him, going to take him to the outside, and then he's going to kind of outrun the entire defense for a touchdown and it's really that simple you see him take the snap here you see how these guys are on the edge here and they should be able to kind of close this gap off and and stop etn from getting outside but he's just so quick and so elite with that speed that his ability to get to the outside and then just outrun everyone break a few tackles he's slippery he's hard to bring down he's really fast in open space and then i mean it, once he's off to the races, it's it's it's, it's a touchdown because he's going to be faster than everyone else. So that elite speed, almost that track star speed, and that ability to get to the outside using that speed um, is what makes him a really lethal running back because he's slippery to bring down once he's in open space. And when he's in, an, in, in open space, it's almost a definite touchdown. But at the end of the day, the thing that really makes him, that the thing that really sets him apart from just a fast running back to a really great running back is uh, his ability to be a complete running back because he's got some good pass catching abilities too. You're going to see him here lined up in the backfield he's going to go out to the flat here um and simply he's just going to get a little dump off here um and you're going to see what he's able to do after the dump off so as he catches that football uh right there secures the football really good as a pass catcher too not just a good runner but then he's then he uses the speed after the catch too so he's really good after the catch just like he is when he gets into the second level of running plays and excuse me there but nonetheless you just see the speed, you see the athleticism, and you just see the straight line elite speed and quickness, you know, just completely outruns the defenders for a touchdown. And I mean, that ability to score from anywhere on the field is such a dynamic threat, um, is, is really something special. But also, you know, his ability to be a good pass catcher and a good runner, that is another thing that makes him into a real, um, really, really good threat. Um, and I think that's what he can really bring to the NFL. That speed is going to really tear apart defenses. And I think that he can really be um, a, an influential playmaker. And although you might think of of Travis Etienne as a mostly speed back, which is at the end of the day, he's he's a speed back. Uh, he can really run in between the tackles too, and he can use his speed to his advantage when running in between the tackles because he's still got the size to run in between the tackles. So right here, he's going to basically just take the snap, go right up the middle, score a touchdown. And here's why: so because he gets to the he gets to the uh, the holes so quickly. He's able to hit those holes at a, at a fast pace, too. He's able to just break through defenses, uh, like you break through glass. Just You see how he diagnoses where the hole is, and he just he doesn't look back. He goes straight downhill. He's a downhill runner, and he goes from 0 to 100 real, really quickly. And you can even see these, the safety try and come over uh, the top here. The safeties come over the top. But he, because he gets to his top speed so quickly, and he accelerates so quickly, and he's got that quick burst almost, he's able to break through and score a touchdown. Uh, without really being touched because he gets from 0 to 100 really, really fast, picks up a lot of ground really quickly, and that speed, especially when you're hitting the hole um, and, and you're going right up the middle, right through the gut of the defense, and you're breaking through the safeties, you know, and you're faster, you're faster, you're at a faster speed than the safety is coming to coming to help, and you can break through, that's a really lethal weapon because this shows that Travis Etienne's speed is real and legit. 
Because when you can hit the hole at the speed that Travis Etienne is hitting the hole at, that can be, and, and, and get into the second level as quickly as he's getting into, into that, it gives the defense less time to react, and therefore it gives him a lot more options when he's when he gets into that second level and, and the things that he can do, um, and the ability for him to just get by the second level. Once again, this is him running in between the tackles, but it's a little bit showing a little bit more of his elusiveness here. Um, and it's he's not just a speed guy, he can also be a, a little bit more of an elusiveness guy. So he starts moving right, then sees that there's a hole to the left, so he's got some good vision too. Moves back to the left here, right? And as, you know, he gets a little bit of a, of, of a defender coming hit here this way, that's when he accelerates and just goes in there for a score and just, you know, puts his head down and just gets in there. So he shows that he's not just a speed guy, but he can also, you know, see where the see the field pretty well, um, diagnose the play, diagnose the hole, and then use his vision and elusiveness um, as an option for him to, you know, make some plays there too. So overall, it's not just the speed, it's also the elusiveness, the vision, and the willingness to, you know, go out and make a play, even giving up his body in the situation, you know, diving for it, uh, that really makes him a special running back because he's got a lot of tools that can make him really successful. And finally, this is going to be the last play I'm going to show you here. It's once again, it's that great elusiveness that he shows. You know, he's going to take the snap. He's not afraid to go up the middle in between the tackles. Um, and, you know, he, he meets a little bit of trouble, but he's slippery. And what you're going to see him here is you're going to see a little bit of a spin move, moves outside, fakes the defender, and then he's off to the races. Because once he gets into the second level, he can really use that speed. Uh, so controlling him is all about, you know, making sure that you tackle him the first time you don't really give him a, a of an option once you once you've clogged up the 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 lanes for him to run through but overall like this is just a really good play by travis Etienne, using his vision using his elusiveness being shifty and and slippery um even in a smaller space um and then using that speed at the end of the day to fin finish the playoff and score a touchdown so that this really shows the complete running back running the football that Travis Etienne is. It shows, you know, he's got the moves, he's got the slipperiness, then he's got the speed to finish it off and take it to the house. So with that said, Travis Etienne is so deadly and so dangerous because, first of all, the speed kills, and speed kills in the NFL, and we kind of know this because of what we've seen the Kansas City Chiefs be able to do over the past few seasons, but more importantly, he's got the elusiveness as a runner too. So that speed and the, elu and the elusiveness and the ability to run in between the tackles and get to the second level quickly, hit the hole quickly, he, we saw a little bit of his vision too. All those things combined mind really make him a deadly running back and then you have the pass catching abilities and the ability to p catch balls out of the backfield and then take those to the house using his speed after the catch to extend plays that makes him a complete running back and you know complete running backs in the nfl uh, they're becoming easier to find but overall a, a guy with the, this kind of speed and this kind of pass catching ability really is a lethal weapon and i think that he can have a lot of success in the nfl especially in, a, in, a, in an nfl where speed is becoming more and more important um, and where we continue to see speed really have an important part of offenses. So I think that uh, as an offensive weapon in the NFL, Travis Etienne's speed is going to be deadly. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.